Okay, today I'm going to be working on a 2016 Chevrolet Colorado. Uh, I was driving earlier and I had a check engine light come on, so I wanted to get my scan tool out and see what the code was showing. So when I look up the code on the scan tool, it should show me. All right, I have one code found. Okay, now in order to replace this, I have a new purge flow valve. Where it is, if you can see, it is right here under this black cover. Have a wired connection and like a vacuum line going to it and a 10 millimeter screw holding it in. Okay, have my part. GM part number 12690512. And I don't know if you can see from that angle, but I will be going in here. I have a connector that I need to unhook from this. I got the electrical connection unplugged right here. I'm going to pull it back out of the way. See if I can unhook this vacuum line now. Now, I had the vacuum line off. I need to get my 10 millimeter
socket onto that bolt. and get it off. Chevrolet never said they made anything easy to get to, that's for sure. I think I'm going to need a longer extension. Okay, I got a longer extension now. Let me see if I can somehow make that work. I believe I can. Okay, got the 10 meter, 10 millimeter screw out. Now then, you can see how this new one's made. It's like a little, I don't know, a little O-ring there. It's gonna have to pull out. There we go. This is what was causing the code to be the P0496. That's what was causing the problems. So now then what we'll do, we will put this new one on where we took the old one off. We will just go in here. And this really can only go one way and it should line up once you get your bolt started back in there never quite as easy as it looks when you can't get started and we definitely don't want to lose the number 10 
Okay, I think I found that. Now let's see if we can tighten it. I was about the noise, but we're going to get this back on here. Got that done. Okay, so I got the bolt hole lined back up. Took me a minute, but I did get it lined back up. Uh, as you can see, there's the 10 millimeter on the old one. You have to line that back up behind it. There's a spot where it has to go. Uh, I reattached my vacuum line and my wiring harness. And as I saw another YouTuber saying, he made a really good point. Uh, anything with a wire going to it, he said he gets direct from GM, that part. Which is why I chose to go through GM and order their part as a GM part. Now, I'll go back in the truck and hook the code scanner up and see if this is going to clear the code, it should clear the code out. Okay, now I'm back in the truck. I will turn this on and see what we have. That should have, I can clear the code uh, with my machine or I can disconnect the battery but I'm going to enter this I'm gonna read the code see if it finds anything all right as you can see zero codes found no stored codes no pending codes and we will go ahead and do that just to erase any codes that were there. Okay, so I got back in the truck. I hooked up my code scanner. Uh, found no codes present. And that tells me that that did fix my problem. Once again, this is how you replace a faulty purge valve on a 2016 Chevy Colorado. My truck had roughly 50,000 miles when this light came on, the check engine light, and it was showing the code for it was P0496, Evaporative Emission System High Purge Flow. I thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.